Excel fifth grade, or see, excuse me, sixth grade, Excel sixth grade, lesson 60, recognizing parts of a circle, calculating diameter and radius, and associating the 360 degrees in a circle with one quarter, one half, three quarter, and full turns. So here we go. Uh, the center is the point of uh, an equal distance from any point on the circle. You can see that right here, that point A is the center of the circle because every point that comes around here on the circle is equal in distance to the center. Every point on here, it's we're smack in the middle of the circle. That's pretty simple. Okay, the next term that you need to learn is a chord. A chord is a line segment connecting two points on a circle's circumference. So when we connect from point D over to point C, that is a chord. Uh, from B to C is also a chord, and from D to E is a chord. Any spot where we connect uh, the edge of the circle or the circumference of the circle with another part, another point on the circumference. Now, what is not a chord is this line segment right here, because that is not connecting to the circumference of the circle. If this helps you, the way I remember a chord is that these are like strings being strung across on this circle and if you were to pluck these you'd be like playing like a guitar, playing a chord on a guitar. If that doesn't help you, sorry. Alright, uh, a radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside edge of the circle. And so AC is a radius, AB is a radius, and AD is a radius. Three different radii, plural of radius is radii, make up that circle. The diameter of a circle is the distance all the way across the circle, and that has to go through the center. So we see one diameter, it goes from B all the way over to C and that's the diameter. If the radius, it says down here, if the radius of a circle is three inches long, how long is the diameter? Well, the radius is from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle, so that means that's three inches, which means that this other piece right here is three inches, and three plus three would make six inches for the diameter. Okay, the circumference is the distance all the way around the circle. Around like that. That's the circumference of the circle. And it's approximately three times the length of the diameter. So if we were to measure from B to C, multiply that by three, we're going to get the distance around the circle. And uh, the arc is a continuous section of the circumference. So from C to E, we could call that an arc. Arc kind of sounds like arch, and an arch, most of you probably know, is like a curve. So from E to B, that's an arc. Here's an arc. This is an arc around here. Any little chunk of the circumference is considered to be an arc. All right, let's move on to the next section here. And it says, uh, in this example, points A and F are inside the circle. And it's teaching you about what it means to be inside the circle A and F right here. Let me mark those. A and F are inside the circle. Points H and J are outside the circle. Here's J, here's H, and C, E, B, and D are on the circle. C, here's C, E, uh, B, and D. Those are actually on the circle. Okay, now what you're going to do is use this next drawing to identify a radius, the center, a diameter, and so on. And notice when it says a radius, you do not need to identify all of the radii. Just pick one and write it. But you do need to put the little line over the top of the letters when you identify these different things. And if you're going to identify an arc, 
you put a curve over the top instead of a straight line segment. Go ahead and try these and turn the video off and then turn it back on when you're ready to see the answers. Okay, there are several possible correct answers for the radius. Uh, the radii include E, D, ED, or DE. Uh, you could also name E, G, or GE. You could also name E, C, or CE. Notice how I'm putting a little line segment symbol on top of these. Or you could name E, H, or HE. Doesn't matter if you reverse those. The center of the circle, everybody pretty much has to have the same answer for that, which is E. E is the center. A diameter, there's two diameters you could name. Uh, DG or GD with a segment across the top, or you could have named CH or HC with the segment symbol across the top. A point on the circle, you could write just D, you could write just H, P, G, or C. All of those are on the circle. For inside the circle, you could have named A, or you could have named E. Again, you only need one of each of these. And for a chord, you could have named CD or DC. Oops, that doesn't look like a D and you could have named CH or HC. Actually, any of these um, diameters, DG or CH, uh, are chords as well. DG, you could have also named GH as a chord. An arc, boy, there's a million answers for this. As long as you put two points that are on the circle, like DH, and then draw an arc over the top of it, it looks a little curved like that, then you got it right. You put CD with an arc over the top. You could put PG, like the movies, right? PG, little arc over the top. Any two points on the circle with an arc is a correct answer. All right, now let's go to uh, the next one here. Oop. This cleared off. It says, uh, if the radius of a circle is six feet, the diameter will be. Well, the radius is halfway across the circle. And so if the radius is six, then that means the other half is six. And six plus six makes 12. So the diameter is 12 feet. Why don't you try number two, pause the video, and then turn it back on when you have an answer. All right, if the diameter of a circle, now this one did it reverse on you. Hopefully you figured this out. The diameter is 8. A lot of kids pick 16 for this answer, but that's not correct. The diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. So that means from here to here is only 4, and here to here is 4. Uh, you're cutting the 8 in half. You're dividing it into 2. And so the answer is 4 centimeters. All right, now let's go to the next section. And that would be, no, we're on page 5, let's go to page 7. No, already there. Okay, how about uh, turns in a circle? What you're learning here is that when a radius turns around a quarter of a turn on a circle, that's 90 degrees because it's forming a 90 degree angle. When a, it's almost like on a clock, when it goes halfway around, you're, it's like two 90 degree angles, so that's 180 degrees, and this is called a three quarters turn when it goes all the way around to there and stops, and really that's like three 90 degree angles and so you've got 270 and then when it goes all the way back to the beginning that's a full turn and a full turn has four right angles in it and so they're asking you uh, what the sum of those are 
and that would be 360 degrees. It says, look at the model shown above. What kind of angle is formed each time there is a quarter turn? And each time there is a quarter turn, there's a right angle formed. Oh, I got the answers on here for you, don't I? And uh, how many degrees are there in a quarter turn? There's 90 degrees in each quarter turn. And this is page 8 of 10, so let's see, page 9 of 10. Okay, go ahead and see if you can solve these. I basically gave you the answers, but solve 3, 4, 5, and 6, and then turn the video back on when you're ready to see the answers. How many degrees are in one half of a turn? That's coming around like this. That's forming like two right angles, so there's 180 degrees in a half a turn. How many degrees are there in three quarters of a turn? That's all the way around till here. So basically you're forming three right angles, three times 90, 270 degrees. Uh, there we go. How many degrees are there in a full turn? That's all the way around the circle. 360 degrees, kind of like when you're flipping your skateboard around and you do a 360, you're doing a full turn. And what is the sum of the central angles of a circle? If this is a circle, all the angles in the middle, no matter how you slice this and make any angles you want to, these angles are all going to add up to 360 no matter what. So the answer is 360 degrees. Alrighty, that's it for Lesson 60.